It has been insanely, insanely hot recently. Hot, hot, you don't wanna be outside hot. So it got me thinking, it would suck to have to shoot outside in this type of weather. Then got me thinking, I wonder which camera would overheat faster, the a7S III or the FX3. Basically identical cameras, except for the fact that the FX3 has a built-in fan. How much does the fan actually help for overheating? Let's try it. Also, just for the fun of it, we're gonna throw the a7C in there. Same exact settings, 4K, 8-bit on this camera because there's no 10-bit, and let that bad boy run as well. So since a bunch of you will ask, all settings are absolutely identical. ISO, shutter speed, aperture, both 4K 10-bit, same picture profile, actual Sony batteries, both charged to 100% and nothing different. Both of the automatic shut off temperature things or whatever they call it, auto both set to high. So they're set as high as they possibly can be. The FX3 has a fan. So let's see how well the fan actually works and does it actually do anything. And no, to answer your question, I'm not gonna test how long I can last without overheating because I'm already dying of heat. So uh, we're just gonna let these guys suffer. Just past 30 minutes in, A7S III still having no problem. 76%, no sort of heat warnings. FX3, no problem at all as well. At 73% battery and no heat warnings. A7C is just behind at 23 minutes, but already a heat warning on the screen. So, uh... All right, what's the verdict here? Uh, for some reason, my camera turned off. A7C has called it quits, just about 30-ish minutes. So we're an hour and 15 minutes into the recording here. 46% battery life for the A7S III, still no overheating at all, not even a little status symbol of it. FX3, same thing, same time, 39% battery, but no overheating at all, no symbol, nothing. And just so you can see, they're still in direct sunlight, no shade whatsoever. All right, one hour, 45 minutes in. Still no overheating symbol on the A7S III. 23% battery, no problems. FX3, the same thing, 12% battery, so definitely less battery. So the cameras still are not overheating. We're at two hours, basically an hour and 55 minutes, but both of them kind of need to change their batteries. This is at 7% and this one's at 16%. So I think a little bit more battery is being used in the FX3 because of the fan, I assume but uh, we need to change the batteries. And now we're gonna actually put in generics as the other ones instead of more Sony's because I don't have any charged, but maybe that would be a good test to see if anything changes anyway. So put that right back on there, boom, on, record, on, record. Okay, three hours in, A7S III, no problem. FX3, no problem, no overheating symbols at all. Uh, can't really see the screen on this, but... Uh... So what did we learn after three hours in direct sunlight, like a real feel of 100 degrees with the A7S III and the FX3? Well, we learned that uh, there's nothing really to worry about whatsoever. Neither one of them even came up with a warning of overheating. They had no problem. We were in 4K 10-bit, no issues at all. I don't think I'd ever want to even shoot outside in three hours straight, so I can't imagine that you're going to have a lot of events that are any longer than that. But they performed incredibly. I somewhat expected the A7S III to actually overheat or at least give me a warning because of the fact that it doesn't have that internal fan that the FX3 does, but surprisingly, clearly it's not even an issue with this camera. It's pretty dang impressive that they could make a camera this good and still not have any overheating issues. That's quite the improvement when you think about where Sony was just a couple of years ago where you couldn't even record in ideal situations with 4K without overheating. And now you can put them in direct sunlight, let them just get completely torched. These are very, very hot, these cameras right now and no issues at all. We even had to change batteries because it outlasted the battery. So as if I wasn't already insanely impressed with these cameras, I'm even more impressed because now you know that they're not only incredible cameras with incredible image quality, but they're also really, really reliable. Now, one thing to note with the A7C, after further investigation, we realized we did have this on just this standard um, temperature, what do they call it? Auto power off temp was actually on standard, so we probably could have gotten more than 23 or so minutes. I would not expect that you'll get three hours like you do with the A7S III and FX3, but overall, I'd think you're probably closer to 45 minutes, an hour maybe. 
who knows, but still a phenomenal camera. This is a, an amazing camera for the price. So I just want to make sure you knew I wasn't trying to knock this camera because it's a great camera. So hopefully this was helpful in case you were wondering whether or not they still overheat. Thanks for watching.